Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 36 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. In this video we're going to talk about t the, the, the two machines that are the rest in the production category of the handbook that are not mod interaction machines. Because Reka has said that those power transfer transforming machines between mods are going to be changing quite a bit in a future version so I don't want to make a video that's going to be an instantly obsolete so we're going to talk about these two machines uh, and then we're going to move on until Reka says okay you're, you're good to go ahead and do that which will probably be when version 25 of Rotary Craft comes out and I'll see if I can't update my, my version uh, for that video but anyway we're going to talk today about the dew point aggregator and the refrigeration unit now the uh, but neither of these machines are, are terribly complex to make or in their operation. Uh, we'll take a look at how to craft the dew point aggregator, which is quite simply four steel ingots, a shaft unit, a base panel, two glass panes, and a compressor. So it's not very expensive at all uh, to get this uh, and to get it, you know, up and going. So I've got it set up over here. It does take in power from the bottom, and it can connect liquid pipes to it. Uh, and you're probably you're going to want to do that because what the dew point aggregator does is that you give it power and it siphons, well it condenses water out of the air. So uh, it's an, basically this is the aqueous accumulator of rotary craft. You place it down, you power it, and it will generate water. Uh, you can even do it in the nether, although it will be at a slower pace. Now uh, the dew point aggregator also requires very little in the way of power. It requires only 8192 kilowatts, which is two wind turbines or half the power output of a uh, steam engine. So you could run two of these on one steam engine if you wanted to. Uh, but it requires it at 4096, at you know 4096 kiloradians. So you do have to use gearboxes to change the speed um, because it only requires two newton meters of torque minimum. So whatever power you're giving it, make sure you're, you know, gearing it to this speed. Now, if we turn this on, you'll notice that it's not d doing anything. Um, I'm, I don't know if this is a, I, this has to be a bug, because the way that, that I have found to fix this is to go into here, set the time to dawn, set the time to noon. Now it's working, which is strange. Um, I don't know why that is. I'm assuming this is something to do with the monster mod pack. Um, I just, I don't know. The first time I placed this machine down, it worked perfectly fine. I didn't have to mess with the time of day to get it to work. It worked fine. But I have been unable to get it to work just by placing it since. This is now the only way to fix it. So you see it's working right now, okay? If I break it and I put a new one down, all of a sudden it's not working. I have to set the time to dawn, it's still not working. Then I set the time to noon, and now it's working for some reason. I don't know if this is because the dew point aggregator is set to not start producing water until it's been running for a certain length of time. I mean, I just, I don't know how, I don't, I don't know. But the way that I'm getting it to work is by changing the time of day, which is strange. But once it is working, it does produce water quite quickly, even at, it, at its uh, minimum uh, power output. I mean, that's, that's quite significant. That's, that's quite a good power out, uh, water output. So I really don't know what's going on with the dew point aggregator. Uh, it does work, um, but it, I don't know. I'm hoping Reika can uh, let, will let us know why, what's going on here. Um, it's, it's just strange, because you can see it works. It works just fine. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. You see now it's filling up with water, it has a 6,000 millibucket internal tank. Um, but it's just strange that it doesn't seem to want to work until I change the time of day twice. Very odd. Anyway, that's the dew point aggregator. Uh, you, you power it and it will produce water. Now apparently this bug does not occur in the nether. Um, I'm not going to go to the nether to show it, but apparently I'm, this bug does not occur in, in the nether. Or if it, I don't know if it's a bug. It seems like a bug because it seems like a really weird way to fix it. But um, I mean, this just seems very strange. See, so it didn't work there. Set it to dawn. Set it to noon. There it goes. It just seems like a strange way to fix it. Set it to dusk. Set it to noon. See, it works fine. Very odd. So hopefully we'll figure out, we'll find out what that's about, and I'll uh, 
a de a put something in the description once we know how to how, how, how to do it. So anyway, now we're going to talk about the refrigeration unit. So the refrigeration unit is crafted like this. It's a bit more expensive, well, quite a bit more expensive than the dew point aggregator because everything in its recipe requires steel. Two liquid pipes, a diffuser, a condenser, a compressor, two base panels, two steel ingots. So it's a big block of steel. So what does the refrigeration unit do? Well, if we go into its GUI, because it does have one, you might look at this and think, what the heck is this? But all this is is a really cool-looking progress meter. Um, what you have here is you have an input slot, and then you have a, a tank, and then an, an output, which I, it's for buckets. So you put a bucket here, and you can get a bucket out. Um, so the refrigeration unit, what it does is that it freezes, it cools the air uh, to condense parts out of it. And uh, what it does basically is you give it power, you provide it with the uh, reagent that it requires to function, and it will produce liquid nitrogen. Um, Rotary crafts liquid nitrogen. Let's be very clear about that. There are several mods in, mod in Monster Mod Pack that produce liquid nitrogen, and they're not compatible with each, with each other. As far as I know, you cannot use Rotary Craft liquid nitrogen for those other mods, and those other mods liquid nitrogen cannot be used for, for Rotary Craft. As far as I know. All right. Now, the refrigeration unit does require quite a bit more power than the dew point aggregator because it's much simpler. This is a much more complicated machine. It requires uh, 32.768 kilowatts and uh, 2.048 uh, kilonewton meters. So let's set that up. 2048. And that comes up to 16 radians per second. So now we've got our 32,768 watts of power, but you'll notice that it's not actually doing anything, and that's because we need to give it ice, and that goes in this slot right here. So we put ice in, and now it's running. It's got a little sound effect, and it's running. This progress meter is showing what's going on. It's, this is like a turbine, and it's, it's sucking in the air, and then it'll get to the cooling uh, coils here, where the ice will act as the coolant to cool down the air. To condense out what we want, which is going to pop up liquid nitrogen, 100. Now this is pretty slow um, right now, but you can speed it up by adding more well speed. So we got 16 radians per second in here right now. If I give it 32, it's running twice as fast. Well, it's running not running twice. It's running faster. I, I shouldn't say how much faster. 64, quite a bit faster. 128. Now we're up to half the out input of a kinetic engine, hydrokinetic. And now we're going at a decent pace. We can pump this up to 256. This is the output of a hydrokinetic engine. It's running, you know, fairly decently. Bump this up to 512, which is one megawatt, which is half the output of a uh, uh, what's the, micro turbine. Now it's running at a pretty good. Uh, pace. If I bump this to 1024, now we're at the output of a uh, we're at the output of a micro turbine, and now it's running at what I would call a respectable pace. It's running quite quickly right now. Now, obviously, if you give it more power, 2048, which is now in the four megawatt territory, now it's running quite quickly, and you can just keep bumping this up, bumping this up giving it more speed, not torque, and get it to run faster to produce liquid nitrogen. Now, what can you do with liquid nitrogen? Um, well, if I hit, I can't hit you on it right there, so let me go in here. I used to have one, but my liquid nitrogen bucket appears to disappear. This is the Rotary Craft liquid nitrogen. It's purple. If I hit use, then hit use on the liquid nitrogen. What it's used for is it's used to fill insula uh, superconducting wire for Electrocraft. Um, that's, according to NEI, that is the only use for this stuff, is as the coolant for superconducting wire from Electrocraft. We will talk about Electrocraft at a later date. Uh, but apparently that, according, uh, for right now at least, that is, that is the only use that I know of for liquid nitrogen. Um, but I have tried putting a liquid nitrogen bucket in here. You can't do it. This thing needs to run on ice. Now, it does produce dry ice as a byproduct. However, when I hit U on it, nothing happens. So as far as NEI is concerned, dry ice has no use. And I don't know. I don't know of, of the use for dry ice. 
If there is a use for dry ice currently, I don't know it, and any eye doesn't know it either. Um, so, the only thing I can guess is that it will have a use, and that use has not been implemented yet. I'm not sure. The refrigeration unit just popped up not too long ago. It's you know it's basically for uh, creating the thing that you need for electric craft. So I don't know too much about it. But it does produce liquid nitrogen. It does require ice. It does require a good amount of power to get running at this speed. And produces dry ice as a byproduct. Hopefully Ray can come and let us know, hey, this is what you can use dry ice for. Or maybe if it's if if I'm right and it's just not implemented yet, you know, then we'll know that it's it's coming soon. Anyway, that's the refrigeration unit. So it runs on ice. It takes power and it produces liquid nitrogen. Um, I wish that the, the dew point aggregator worked perfectly. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with that whole um, having to set time of day twice to get it to work. Uh, obviously, that does not that that's definitely not probably intended. Um, I think it's a bug. It feels like one, but uh, maybe Reiko will let us know. Hey, it's not actually a bug. Maybe this is supposed to run for a day before it starts working. I don't know. Um, but anyway, those are the two machines: the dew point aggregator, which generates uh, water when you, uh, from the air when you give it power, even in the Nether, and the refrigeration unit, which uh, uses ice to produce liquid nitrogen. Um, so yeah, those are the two machines. So we are done with their production section until uh, the, uh, we have until we have the go ahead to start talking about these things, um, which means that the next thing we're going to talk about is the compactor. That'll be fun. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, this will be up pretty later today. And uh, look forward to um, Reactor Craft tutorial number two coming soon, as well as the continuation of this Rotary Craft tutorial series. So I uh, hope you all are enjoying uh, the content. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.